started. Green light. Green light. All right. Um, so I'm going to start the Instagram. All right. We're all going at the same time. Welcome, everybody. Happy Wednesday. If there's anyone I have not met yet, my name is Laurel, and I'm here in Santa Monica, California, in my living room, leading workouts every day. And let's go through a brief refresher tutorial, refresher tutorial of putting our bands on, just in case we have anyone new in our class today. So we're starting with the arm bands. We always want to do arms and then legs, smaller muscles, to bigger muscles. Grab your arm bands. I'm going to slide them all the way up to my armpit as high as it'll go. And then I want to bring the band down into that divot in my arm between my bicep and my tricep. And that divot is bigger for some than others. Go ahead and pop your bands on if you've not already done so. So sliding it all the way up to my armpit and then bringing it down to that little divot space right about there. And if you don't already have water, please go grab some. And if you do, take a nice big sip and we'll prepare ourselves to get started. So this week we've been doing a fair amount of cardio. We've been jumping around, we've been bouncing. Um, and today we're going to work a little bit more into a strength routine. So we're still going to be doing our cardio. We're still going to have those three moves that we do to get our heart rate up. Um, but we're also just going to explore some more um, static holds and some isometric work to really build some muscles up. So with that being said, go ahead and start your cycle. So I'm going to go to G, the group one. And usually recommended to start on lower medium, uh, unless you really know yourself, your bands, and you want to go for high. So I'm actually going to start with medium today to get started. All right. And then once you're here, just start to give the shoulders a shrug, waking the muscles up. And feel free to come up to stand if you're not already up. Again. All right, and let's go ahead and start to take the arms out to the sides and just continue to circle the shoulders around just with the arms in a different plane of motion. Good, and then start to reach your arms up, same thing, moving them around, starting to feel that cycle working. And then working into the spine, take your hands behind your head, press your elbows back, and start to rotate everything over to the right. And make your way back through center and come over to the left. And back through center. And keep going side to side here. Doing your best not to let the torso move, just the shoulders. And two more. Last one. And then bring your arms out by the side, bend your elbows really deeply, squeeze them together behind your back, and then continuing to press your arms back the whole time, start to reach your arms up as slowly as you can. So this should be slow if you're really pressing your elbows back behind you, working all the way up to straight, and then re-bend to it. And as you do, start to work towards squeezing your elbows behind your back. We're not going to get there, but that's the idea. Let's take two more of those. Start to work the arms up towards straight. Good, and then re-bend into the elbow. Starting to feel that cycle working. And last one, arms up towards straight. Keep pressing the elbows back, creating resistance in your body. And then bring them down. All right, so we've warmed up the upper body a bit. Let's get into some of our work. So we're gonna start with the hands down by the side with a wrist curl. So we just keep them down, we curl in, and in, and so we wanna see the forearms to start pumping, okay? So we have our two sets, 40 seconds each. So go ahead and start making a fist, and these ones we're gonna go slow. One, two, one, two, time's rolling. And as I do this, you notice that the rest of my arms does not move, my body does not move, I'm isolating the form. Two, one, two. And as we do the movements today, because we're working with our body weight and not actual weight, I want you to learn how to, and just be mindful of creating resistance in your own body, because that's how we really get that burn. Two, one, two. So maybe squeezing the fist tighter, 
Go ahead, pulling those elbows in even more. Last 10 seconds. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. So shake it out. Making sure that the bands aren't on too tight. Let's quickly check our palm to see our cap refill. Go ahead and press your hand. Notice that it turns white. And if it goes back to its normal color in about three seconds and we're in good shape, if it's much longer than that, you might want to loosen your bands a little bit. And just quick refresher, uh, the space between our band and our arm should be about one finger. So if you can fit more than that, you can tighten your bands up a little bit. Let's go ahead and take our second set. So this time, pull the elbows and make this. This time, we're going to go fast in three, two, one. Let's move up, down, up, down, up, down, fast as you can. And already, by squeezing those fists, you should be starting to feel a burn. Up, up, up. I always like looking at my arms after this because I see a ton of veins from everything starting to work. In, in, up, and up. Keep going. Nice. Woo! It's Wednesday. We're about halfway through the week. Half done. Keep moving. Fast as you can. Pull those elbows in. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Last 10. Good. Keep growing tall. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Check your arms. I see some veins. That's a good sign. If you're noticing that your coloring of your arms is getting a little bit darker, that's okay. It's okay. That's what we want. Good. Give the hands a shake. Okay. So we started with the forearms. Let's move into our next smaller set of muscles. And I like to remember the difference between biceps and triceps. Biceps are the bigger muscles. Triceps are the tinier muscles. So B versus T. So to get into the triceps today, we're actually going to use our full body. I'm going to angle this down so you can see. And you're going to start to make your way down to six. And then we're going to root our hands into the floor. And I feel my bands working, my arms working even now when I'm not doing anything. And so there's two levels of this. Level one, or slightly easier, is we come up and then we bend the elbows, press our arms straight, bend the elbows, press our arms straight. So we're really starting to work out those muscles. If you've done this before and you want more of a challenge, straight legs, but try not to let your butt hit the floor. We bend the elbows, press up. Bend into it, press up. And the higher you can get your hips, the harder it's going to be. So that's your gauge for difficulty level. Even if you're on your feet, you can also press your hips up more, and it makes it harder. So that's how we control it, okay? So wrist underneath shoulders, pinky fingers pointing towards heels. Let's set ourselves up, and we're going to start in three, two, and one. So get your butt off the floor, whatever variation you're in. Squeeze your glutes, get your hips up, bend the elbows. Press, bend, and press, really lengthening out the arms. And even if your tricep dip is just a baby bend in the elbows, that's fine. You're still working those muscles. And if you have wrist issues, you can take a tricep extension instead. You don't have to be on our hands. Awesome. Good. We've got Instagram on my right. I got Zoom on my left, and everyone's doing it. Fantastic, Justin. Everyone, see if you can lift your hips a little bit higher. We've got a familiar crew today. Nice job, guys. Good. Last five, four, three, and two. Come down to sit. Roll the wrist around. And we're going to go right into our second set. So fingers pointing towards heels. Lift your butt up, and our time is rolling. 40 seconds, whichever variation. Bend into the elbows. Press the floor away. Bend. And up, get those hips up nice and strong, maybe even activating your glutes to take some of the weight off your arms. And it doesn't matter to me whether you go fast or slow, most important is that we try and finish the set without stopping. And if we need to pause, we pause with straight arms. So our triceps are still doing a little bit of work. Last 10 seconds, you guys are doing fantastic. These are hard. <laughs> And if you're at home and you ever want to do these again on your own, you can always use the edge of a chair, too, to get more elevation. Good. We have four, three, two, and one. Come on up to sit. You can either come onto your knees or come up to stand, whichever you prefer. We're going to do a bicep curl. So we don't need any body weight for these, just our bands. Check your cycles. Mine stopped. Let's go ahead and restart. Good. And I'm running on group medium right now. Um, that's just where I'm at for this part of the workout. So just frame a reference, whatever works best for your body. So for the bicep curls, elbows in. Make those same fists you had for forearm work. And then we're going to start to imagine you're holding two 20-pound weights. Pull the fist in towards the shoulders. 
and release it back out. But you don't want to fully straighten your arms. So it's a full pull and squeeze, halfway release, okay? 40 seconds, we're going. Squeeze it in, halfway release. Pull it in, halfway release. So we keep a small bend in our elbows the whole time. And we do this so that the biceps, the bigger of the two arm muscles, stay slightly contracted the entire time we're doing the exercise. Good, nice and slow. Squeeze, feeling that tension against the bands the whole time. Awesome. Good, half done. And of course, we're going to take another set and it's going to be fast. 10 more seconds. Good, I feel it. Good, you've got 20 pound weight. So what would that look like? We're moving pretty slow for five, four, three, two, and one. Release it, shake it out. Now this time I want you to imagine that you're holding one pound weight. So grip your weight, what would that look like? How fast would you be able to move? In three, two, one, second set. We'd be going pretty fast, right? In, out, in, out. So keep that in mind. But in the grain of imagining you're holding your weights, I want you to grip those weights the whole time. Keep the fist active. Great. Nice. Good. And we don't need to fully straighten out the arms. So however short your range of motion is, as long as you're contracting the bicep muscles, I've even got a nice vein popping out in mine. Good. Last 14 seconds. Cool. And making sure that we're not slouching in our posture just because we're doing a bicep curl. So keeping the chest up. Last 10. Nice, Lily. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Release it. Shake it out. Okay. Making our way on to hands and knees. So we've talked before, and we'll review it today, about concentric and eccentric movements. So it's one is going one way, the other is a movement going the other way. So when we do an exercise like a push-up, we have both eccentric and concentric movements, right? So we're going to work into that with a special push-up that emphasizes both. So I'm going to demonstrate, and then we'll take the first ones together. So I come into a plank position, and with a nice flat back, I lower all the way down onto my belly without letting my hips dip. Once you come down, hands behind the head, lift up, spinal extension, and then keeping a straight spine, press right back up into plank, okay? So one more time, and you can always do this on your knees. I come all the way down, nice straight spine. I lift up, spinal extension, and I press right back up. Now what tends to happen here is we drop our hips and we kind of sag into it. If you start sagging, drop your knees, emphasize your core to help you keep that nice slow movement so we're building strength instead of just flopping our hips, okay? So we've got two 40 second sets and for these ones we want to go really slow because that way we're building muscles, we're contracting the whole time instead of just throwing our weight around. So in plank position, let's go ahead and get started. My time is rolling. So as slowly as you can, drop all the way into it. Hands behind the head, lift up, and then tuck the toes, press right back up. And you've got it. And so this time we're moving in slow motion. And we're squeezing our core and our glutes the whole time to help our arms do the work. I like it. Good, we've got 15 more seconds. Nice job. Mm-hmm. Good, last 10. Coming down nice and slow. Good, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Good, drop the knees, roll the wrists out, take a quick pause, shrug your shoulders around. Now, we're gonna do that same thing again. If you're needing more of a challenge today, you can do it with one foot lifted. So I lift a foot, I come all the way down, I release it, take the spinal extension, lift the same foot, and press right back up, and then switch sides. Otherwise, keep doing exactly what you're doing. Good, next set, let's go, time's rolling. And you can even count it on your way down, drop into it for three, two, one. Lift the chest, press up, three, two, one. Maybe you can count to five, maybe you can count to seven. I don't know, whatever your muscles are capable of doing and pushing ever so slightly past that point so we can get even stronger, that's why we do it. Yes, last 15 seconds. Mm -hmm. 
Good. We have 10. See if you can do two more nice and slow. Awesome, Gabe. For five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Come up, shake out the wrist. All right. Last exercise for our upper body, and then we're gonna do our cardio burst with our armbands on and we'll groove onto the legs. So this is a little bit different than things we've done before because we gotta shake it up. Otherwise we'd be doing the same thing every day. So we're gonna come into what I call a modified side plank. So I'm on my hands and knees. I come onto the inner edge of my left foot and I reach my left arm up. Now, what's really, really important here is that your wrist stays underneath your shoulder and you wanna keep this arm from moving as we do the work. And we're gonna move the lower body and the upper body to start to warm everything up for our leg series. But the blood is all pooling on this bottom arm and it has to work to keep the body stable. So really focusing on pressing the floor away from you here. So we'll come up into this side position. And if doing this just does not work for you, you can always come down onto your knees or come all the way down onto your floor, okay? So whichever one you choose, you're still building strength in this bottom shoulder. So I'm going to start up like this. Now, once you're in the position, we're going to start to play. So start pulling elbow to knee and reach everything in opposite direction. Elbow to knee and pull it in. We've got four more and we're going to keep working. Challenge that bottom arm. Three, two, and one. Now straighten everything out. Let's get even more challenging. Arm to leg and reach. Do your best. Up and down. Really feel that bottom shoulder for four, three, two, and one. We're not done yet. Keep that top leg lifted. Reach the top arm up towards the ceiling. Now wrap it under the body and lift. Wrap it under and lift. We have four. Yes. And three, two, and one. Now reach up, lashing, bring the arm and the leg towards each other, press the floor away from you with the bottom arm, hold it for four, three, two, release everything down onto the mat, give that right wrist a shake, and let's come on to the other side. Great job. How well can we control our bodies while we're building strength in our shoulder? So this time I come onto the inner edge of my right foot. Same options apply. You can always do it on your knees. You can always do it on your form, okay? So once we're in that position, making sure our wrist is underneath our shoulder, that's that far form. I like to spread my fingers wide and we'll set ourselves up. All right, elbow to knee and reach. In and out. We have four. Press out bottom arm strong. Three, two, and one. Keep that leg up, arm to leg, up, over, up, over. Is your bottom arm working for four? And three, yes, two, limbs are flying, and one. Keep that leg up, reach the top arm under, and up, the side disco, under, and up. Three more, three, keep your leg up, and two, last one, reach the arm and the leg up, now reach them together, see if you can find contact for four, three, two, and one, bring everything down, shake the bottom wrist out, and let's come on up to stand for our cardio boost, and then we'll move on to the legs, good job everyone, challenge, okay, so, three moves. We're going through each one for 30 seconds. The first one is squat elbow to knee. So we practice taking our hands behind our head and rotating at the beginning of our class. So we're going to work into that. We squat elbow to knee. Squat elbow to knee. That's one pace. If you want to go faster, by all means, don't let me stop you. Okay? Second move, mountain climbers. We're familiar. We come down into plank position and we climb it out. Always okay to do this with drop knees, okay? And third move is star jack to side jump. So I get small. I go up, down, side, forward. Up, down, side, forward, okay? 
Jumping can be minimal. You can always go out, down, step, step, out, down, step, step, okay? First move, squat elbow to knee in three, two, one, let's go. Squat, up, squat, switch, 30 seconds. Getting our heart rate going. Woo. See if you can find contact. If you need to add a jump, add a jump. Squat up. There we go. It's Wednesday and we're getting going. Half done. Good. Last 10. We're going to move on into mountain climbers in six, five, four, three, two, and one. Make your way down to plank position or on your knees. 30 seconds, mountain climbers. Here we go. Now let's see how everybody's doing. Whew. Now, just like we practice in that side plank position, see if you can keep your core so strong that your shoulders don't wiggle. Ooh, I like those adjustments. Last 10 seconds. Fantastic, Kelly. We have six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Hop on up. Last move, star jack to side jump. Step your feet under your hips. Get small. Time is rolling. We go up, in, side, center. Up, in, side, center. Let me see a big old jump. <laughs> That's it. Woo-wee. Half done. Keep that butt low. Up, down, side, center. Last eight. We have six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, everyone. Go ahead and take off your arm bands and let's switch them out to leg bands. Grab a sip of water. And when, as you put on your leg bands, see if you can put them on standing up. So we do it with the muscles slightly engaged. And that way we can come down to sit and tighten them up. It's really hard to put the leg bands on too tight. And let's see. Question of the day. This is a tricky one, tricky one. So we've done chocolate or vanilla. If we could go anywhere on a plane, where would we go? And what is the coolest Olympic sport? So today our question is, Simple, East Coast or West Coast, which one is best? Give me what you got. Feel free to unmute and give me your answers or go ahead and toss them in the chat. <laughs> and Steve, I'll let you monitor the responses. <laughs> West Coast 100%. Who was that? I heard a West Coast 100%. Who was that? Heck yeah! I'm with you. I'm here in California. At East Coasters, you can give a run for their money. Give us the run for our money. East Coast already won the uh, challenges uh, fitness, so East Coast. Well, that was a couple weeks ago, and this is this week, so we get to start fresh every week. <laughs> this is not a legacy best. It's a uh, former. As a former uh, West Coast guy, I'm going to say East Coast, having grown up on the West Coast. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I haven't been on either coast, so I'll <laughs> give you half and half. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Or Midwest also works. That works. I like Jeff. Jeff says Midwest Coast. West Coast always. Diane, East Coast, better sports. Okay. Okay. If I make a muscle with my bicep, yes. Uh, George, I just saw your note about making a muscle with your bicep. I really like that. You can see that little divot right in there, and that's super helpful when putting the bands on. Thank you for that. Um, and actually, that's a really good point. If anyone has tips or tricks in putting on the bands, always feel free to give us a shout in the chat and let everyone know. We're only as good as we all kind of work together to figure out the best technique. So, I don't know. I'm hearing, I'm hearing West Coast, but I'm super biased because I'm on the West Coast, but <laughs> we'll try another question again tomorrow. We're having really slim margins of things winning. We couldn't really decide chocolate or vanilla. We're not sure about West Coast, East Coast. 
but we unanimously decided to leave the country if we could travel. So at least we agree on something. All right, hop on up to stand. Uh, if you have not already taken a seat and tightened your bands up seated, go ahead and give that a shot. Uh, same rule applies, one finger between the bands. And go really intense with the leg bands. It's hard to get those too tight. So once we have these guys on, noticing your tubes, pulling them up towards your hips, a slight angle upward, adjusting those. Go ahead and start your cycle if you've not already done so. And let's step the feet really wide. And just sinking your butt back, start to bend side to side, opening up the hips, getting a nice stretch across the adductors, the inner thigh muscles. Just warming up the legs a little bit. And if anyone has a question of the day that they would like to float to the group, please feel free to let me know. <laughs> All right. Good. And we'll start to make our way back through center. So keep the legs wide. And we're gonna angle the toes out for sumo squat heel lift. So just like the arms, we always work smaller muscles to bigger muscles. So we're gonna start with the calves. The legs are wide, I bend into my knees. How low you go is totally up to you. I want you to keep your hips from moving the whole time. And the options are, you can either go one heel at a time, or you can do both heels at a time. But as you're doing this, your torso doesn't move. So we're not bobbing, we're getting low, and we're really working into our calves, okay? And if standing like this is a bit challenging on the balance, feel free to grab a chair, grab a wall, um, and we'll get started, okay? So come into that position. We have three, two, and one, and I'm going both up, down, up, and down. Get off those heels. Woo. And if you want even more of a challenge, See if you can keep your heels off the floor the whole time. So it's a lower halfway, lift all the way. Lower halfway, lift all the way. Now sink your butt even lower if you can. Yes, have done. Should be feeling a little bit shaky by now. Make sure your knees aren't falling inwards. Keep pressing them open. 10 more seconds, get low. You can even take your hands to your thighs. Ooh, I'm wiggling. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Drop the heels, come up, shake it out. Woo wee. Keeping the heels up the whole time is hard. All right. Second set, we know the options. We can do singles, we can do doubles with a floor tap, or we can do straight up heels up the whole time. If you need more, it's just that kind of day. Reach your arms up. And none of this, I want this. Straight arms. And I'm going to call you on it. So let's bend into the knees. 40 seconds. Let's go in three, two, one. Body doesn't move. Heels up and down. Good. And if your arms are up, keep your palms facing each other. Keep sinking your butt lower. Torso is stable. Awesome. George looks great. I like it. <laughs> Good. Sydney and Sophia got those arms up. You guys look great. Come on, Quinn. You got it. Last 10. Everybody, sink your butt down even lower. Yes, Jeff. We have five, four, go get three, two, and one. Shake it out. Did anyone feel like their calf was kind of cramping? I felt that for a moment there. I was like, ooh, okay. All right. Next up, it's a simple move with a lot of impact. So just how we did bicep curls for the biceps, one of the bigger arm muscles, we're doing hamstring curls for the back of the leg. So, I would recommend grabbing onto something for stability, a wall, a chair, or maybe even your own hips. We're gonna start with the left leg. I root my toes into the floor, and I curl that leg up and down. Now, just like our bicep curls, we don't necessarily wanna fully straighten the arm. We wanna keep the muscle slightly contracted the whole time. So my knees are aligned with one another. I drop the toe halfway, curl in. Halfway, curl in. And I want you to imagine that you have a 20 pound weight on your heel, what would it look like working through that? And my body doesn't move. It's only my heel and towards my butt. And I feel that big contraction here. So let's start together. We're doing 40 seconds per side, two rounds. So we're going to do one leg, go right into the other, take a quick pause, and then switch it up. Okay? So get your left foot back. 40 seconds. Time is starting now. We go up, part way down, up, part way down. Work through it. 
And notice if you're popping your butt out here, tuck your tailbone under, lift your hips up, and keep pulling your knee back. Part way down, curl. That's it. Good, so we're building strength in the hamstrings, one of the bigger muscles of the legs, so important. And notice if your left knee is starting to pitch forward, keep pulling it back so both knees are in line with each other. These look great. Standing tall, shoulders up, and that's it. Good. Yeah. Ooh, working the balance as well. We have four, three, two, and one. Right to the right leg. Step it back, pull it up. 40 seconds, halfway down, all the way. Halfway down, all the way. Woo, try and get your heel all the way to your butt. Imagine that that's the goal. So that extra little contraction at the top, instead of just doing this, pull it in, squeeze, and then bring it down slowly. If you had a 20 pound weight on your heel, we would not be moving fast. Good. Nice, last 10. In five, we're gonna take the hands to the shoulders and take a hamstring stretch. We have three, two, and one. Hands to shoulders, keep the spine straight, hinge forward, come back up. Two more, hinge forward, nice straight spine, and come up. And last one, hinge forward, hold it, reach your arms back behind you, keep dropping your belly button down for five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Get your left foot off the floor. Second set, first side, 40 seconds. Let's go, bring it up and down. If you wanna move faster for this one, you can, but I really want you to focus on getting your heel towards your butt, because that is the contraction of the muscle, which is what we're trying to do. So that's the goal here. It's not just kicking, it's contracting, it's building strength. Yes, you. Make sure your knees are in line with one another. That left knee is not getting sneaky and coming forward. We are more than half done. And if you can stand up a little bit taller, it never hurts to do that last 10 seconds. Good guy. I mean, who does a better hamstring curl, West Coast or East Coast? For four, three, two, and rest. Right to the right side, last leg. Get that foot off the floor. Pull the knees in line and go. Up and down. Woo. Each time you do it, get your heel a little bit closer towards your bottom. Also a nice stretch for the front of the thighs as you're doing it because anytime we really contract one muscle, we're also lengthening the other. Half done. All right. Good. Pressing into the standing leg, always working our balance. All right, keep going, last 10. See if you can grow taller. Good, Quentin. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Take your hands to opposite shoulders, hinge forward, then bring your hands to your legs, walk it down, pedal out the legs, bending alternate knees, release those hammies. All right. Let's get our heart rate up a bit. We did some strength, let's get the heart pumping. So, first 30 seconds, squat to knee to elbow. In three, two, one, we squat. Up, squat, up, we're going. Down and up. Woo! If you need to add the jump, add the jump. Otherwise, get your boat really low, Building strength in the glutes, building strength in the quads. See if you can find contact between knee and elbow, twisting out the spine as we're doing this. Last three, two, one. Everybody to the floor, mountain climbers, and go. 30 seconds. Let me see you go fast. Up, 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 up. And since Chris was claiming the East Coast won at strength a couple weeks ago, I wanna see the East Coast give me even more for those mountain climbers because that was our competition. Half done. Use your core, keep your upper body stable. You can do it and make sure you're breathing. Last 10 seconds, pull on sprint. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hop up to stand. Star jack to side jump. Ready and go. In, out, jump, straight. Finish. 
Big old star at the top. <laughs> you can always step. Light on the feet. Last 10. Woo, big old jump. Come on. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good job. Everybody step into a lunge. Left foot forward, right foot back. Okay. Bend into the front knee. Bend into the back knee. I want your back knee to stay bent the entire time we do this. I drop that knee down and I come up. I go down and I come up. None of this, none of this. Keep those bends. We're continuing to work into the hamstrings and also adding the glutes, okay? 40 seconds per side, it's simple. Lunge, knee drops. Remember, if you need extra aid with the balance, you can scoot that left foot out to the left. You don't have to be on a tight rope. All right, let's go. Down, part way up, down. Part way up. If you can tap your knee to the floor, cool. Doesn't have to go there though. No straightening off the back leg. Keep that contraction. It is going to burn. And that's what I want to see. Now, no slouching as we're doing this. None of this. Chest up, nice and proud. Down and up. Feel it here. Last five, four, three, two. Switch sides. Right leg forward, left leg back. Bend into the back knee. Don't let that leg straighten. 40 seconds, go. Down, part way. Down, part way. None of this. <laughs> it's a hamstring and glute kind of day. Nice. Mm -hmm. And you can do whatever you want with your hands to start. If you can, I'd like you to try not to grip that front leg. But if it's what helps you with balance, that's fine. Down and up. Last six. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come on up. Shake it out. Okay. We have one more set. This time, if you'd like an extra challenge, I think I saw, it might have been Gabe. It was one of you guys, one of Chris and Stormers. Nice work. You can take your hands behind your head. And what happens here is it gets even harder to be upright. You start to kind of slouch as you do this. So if you're going to do this, elbows back, down, up. Now, even more of a challenge, make that movement even smaller. Down an inch, up an inch, down an inch, up an inch. We're going to hold and work into it at the bottom together. So, left foot forward, right foot back. We're going in three, two, one. Down, up, down, up. Keep it small. Keep it concise. Squeeze the right side of your butt like heck. It'll help. Woo, keep pressing those elbows back if you choose that option. Magnificent. Good, in 10, we're gonna drop the back knee down and hold isometric, squeezing everything in five, four, three, two, get low to hold it. 10, nine, hovering off the floor, eight, seven, six, five, lower four, three, two, lift up halfway, drop it right back down and come all the way out of it, switch side. All right, right foot forward, left foot back. Hands behind the head, should you choose, bend into the back knee. Do not let it straighten. 40 seconds, we are going. Down, part way. Down an inch, up an inch. Down an inch, up an inch. Yes. Woo. All right. So great, so great. After this, we have a heart rate boost. Two more exercises than core. So we're well over halfway through. Last 10. Yes, keep pressing your elbows back, space across the chest, lift up, even taller, it's five, we're going to hold, four, three, two, get that back knee down, hold it, do not let it touch the floor, but hover it one centimeter off the ground, squeeze the left side of your butt for four, three, two, lift up halfway, drop right back into it, and then come up slowly, four, three, two, and one, shake it out, our last heart rate boost of the day, squat to elbow twist in three, two, one, take it down, up, down, up, light on the feet. Let's give it all we've got. This is the last time we got to do it. Woo! Maybe a jump. Yes. I love it. Last 10. 
Then we're coming right into mountain climbers. Everything we can do for five, four, three, two, and one. Into plank position, 30 second mountain climbers, and we go. I wanna see your legs fly. Good job, Instagram, good job, Zoom. And I'm seeing everyone going at a pace that is absolutely perfect. Because the main point here is that you don't stop. So whatever that looks like for you, keep going with that pace. Last 10 seconds. If you wanna pick it up now, you can. Then we're gonna hop up for star jack to side jump in four, three, two, and one. Everybody up. All right, let's get low. And we are going. Whoop. On those jumps, keep your butt low, light on the toe. You can even do it and try and keep your heels off the floor the whole time. It's hard. <laughs> Woo, keep going, keep going, keep going. That's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and right. Okay, we did our sumo squat heel lift at the beginning. Now, we're gonna work into that. So we've done this before, I believe it was last week. We're familiar with a wall sit. I have a handy wall behind me. I come against it and I just sit. Now, we're not gonna use the wall because we get to lean against the wall. We're gonna mimic a wall sit. So imagine you have a wall behind you. As soon as I see everyone in this sink into some formation of this, we're gonna start. So everyone drop your butt down. Feet wider than hip distance. Imagine you have a wall, hold at the bottom, 40 seconds. We're going, time's going. Now, as you work into it, I want you to keep getting lower. And now I want you to pull down half an inch, up half an inch, down half an inch, up half an inch. Keep it small. Good. Work into it even lower. Keep pressing your knees back. And my toes are angled out. Yeah. Good. Lower. Lower. That's it. 10 more seconds. Good. We have eight, seven, six. Come on. Five, four three, two, hold, come up slowly, four, three, two, and one, shake it out. Now, that's the move, we're gonna do the same thing, and we're gonna add some arms, optional, always optional, okay? So angle those toes out, sink right back into your imaginary wall, sit. my chest is up, 40 seconds, time is rolling, now give me some little pulses. Now, option here, to reach the arms up, and then bring them side to side as you do this. But I don't want your butt to lift out more than one inch. Get even lower. Woo! Yeah. Good. Arms are nice and straight as you reach all the way up. Bring them all the way down. Imagine you're sliding them along a wall. Yeah. Last 15 seconds. I am feeling this. Everything is shaking. We have 10, 9, get low, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, hold it. Coming up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take it out. All right. Last exercise. These are called prisoners. And I don't know why. I think it's because you're supposed to take your hands behind your head. If you have sensitive knees, I will offer an alternative. I step my feet under my hips. I go down, down, up, up, down, down, up, up. We're going for a minute and then we're done. If that's too difficult on the knees, this is a good old fashioned squat. Down and up. You're working the same muscles, okay? Hands behind the head, whichever variation you're in, I'd like to see that. Elbows back. Good. We're going in three, two, one. One minute. Down, down, up, up. And I'll tell you when we're 30 seconds done. So if you want to switch sides after that, you can. And you can go as fast or as slow as you want. Keep those elbows back. Let's see how we're doing. Phew. Mm-hmm. Good. Look at George with his hands up. Amazing. Okay, I like it. Half done. All right. Perfect, making sure your weight is in your heels if you're doing a squat. We don't wanna let our heels look off the floor. Just a heads up. Last 20 seconds, keep moving. 
Go, Kelly, go. Nice, Jeff. Awesome. Gabe, Quentin's got it. Sydney and Sophia have got it. Everyone's working. Justin, keep going. We have eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone come up. Shake it out. And let's come down onto our backs for some core. We have three moves, 30 seconds each. So first one, losing my carpet. There we go. I come down onto my back. I call it X taps. I roll up, tap, back, roll up, tap. Opposite hand to opposite foot. That's 30 seconds of that. Second 30 seconds, reverse crunch, up, up for the lower abs. Last 30 seconds, toe tap, up, up to the uppers, okay? So first 30 seconds, X, crunch, opposite hand, opposite foot, time is going. See if you can get up and off your entire spray. Up and down, tap both toes. And as we're doing this, we're also getting a hamstring stretch. So it doesn't have to be fast but I'd like you to try and find contact between your hand and some part of your leg. Woo, looks good. We're gonna come right into reverse crunches, both legs up in four, three, two, and one. Both legs up, we crunch up, down, up, down. If you want more of a challenge, reach your arms straight up towards the ceiling. You can take it slow, working every part of your lower abs to get your legs up and off the ground. Try and keep the legs straight. Yes. Home stretch of our workout. Half done. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Good. We have eight, seven. See if you can do three more for five, four, three, two, and one. Keep your legs up. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Last 30 seconds. Fingers to toes. Go. Reach, reach, reach. Bring it up. So anytime we lift our upper body, our shoulders off the floor, we're working into the upper abs. Anytime we lift our lower body, we're working into the lowers. And when we do these, we're working everything because our arms and our legs are up. Last 12 seconds. Coming up even higher off the shoulders. Reach those fingertips long for eight, seven, six. Come on, five, four, three, two. And knees into the toes. Rock side to side. Fantastic. All right, rock and roll up to sit. Come on to hands and knees. I promise this is for good and not evil. Step your right foot up. Come into what I call the proposal position. And then sink into the front knee. Find length in that left hip flexor. So none of this. Chest up, hips down. Give your glute a squeeze. All right. Now, hands to the floor. As best you can, I know this is not gonna be fun for everyone, start to shift your weight back, walk your hands back, but kick your right leg forward. Yeah, hamstring stretch. And if you need to take one hand or both hands to your thigh, that's fine, it's a little less stable, but that's cool as long as you're not directly pressing on your knee. And let the upper body hang, three breaths. Keep pulling your right hip back, left hip forward. Good. And then bend into the right knee, step it back. Let's step the left foot up, come into the proposal. As you bend into that front knee, chest up, hips down. This time squeezing the right side of your glute. Good. dropping into it even more. And then start to shift the weight back, bring your hands down. You can bring your hands underneath your shoulders or anywhere that feels stable, doesn't matter. Kick that left leg straight and let yourself hang. And if you're noticing that this is not a fun place to be and it's a really intense stretch, try and slow down your breathing. And use your breath to relax the body a little bit more. Two more breaths. Each exhale, let something go. Good. And then re-bend into that front knee. 
Take your knees wider than your hips. Last stretch, angle your toes out so my heels do not come together and rock your butt backwards and forwards. This is for the groin or the adductors, inner thigh muscles, and it's a doozy, it's called frog. And if you're comfortable with it here, make your way down onto your forearms, keep pressing your butt back towards your heels. If you have sensitive knees, you can come up and do a wide-legged stretch. Otherwise, butt back, even more, relax your fingers and toes. We're gonna spend 20 seconds here. And that is half as much time as we spend doing our exercises. So you can hold this stretch. I know it. Slowing down the breathing. If you have space, get your bottom back. Last five, four, three, two. Keep your knees where they are. Start to make your way onto your hands. Start to wiggle the knees back together. Rock the hips side to side. And then when you're ready, bring yourself up to stand. Pedal the legs out. Roll the shoulders out. Roll the shoulders out with arms out to the side. Roll them out with arms straighten up above. And then bring your hands together. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome job. All right, we'll be here tomorrow, same time, same place, same band, whole different exercise routine, but same level of effort because you guys are fantastic and you're doing really great work. Good job. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> if anyone has questions, give us a shout in the chat.